For young people living on the UK's toughest estates, it's never been harder to succeed. There's nothing really to do here. People get so bored, they just take out their anger on people. Seeing a few stabbings, people get shot at. I end up dead or in prison. But Kung Fu expert Matthew Ahmed believes he can help them escape the cycle of crime and violence that plagues their neighbourhoods. I'm on a mission to show them that there's another path. Through Shaolin Kung Fu, they can find themselves and really change their lives. At only 16, Matthew left his troubled life in North London and moved to China to train as a Shaolin monk. The Shaolin philosophy has taught Matthew a new way of life. A lot of people think Kung Fu is just about, you know, kick-ass moves and whatnot, but it teaches you a lot of patience, it teaches you about confidence. You know, there's a lot more to it than learning to fight. Now Matthew has returned home to bring Shaolin order to Britain's mean streets. The power of Kung Fu has changed my life, and now I want to use what I've learned to help change people's lives across the UK. Each week, he'll target one of the UK's most notorious areas and handpick three young residents to take to Hong Kong, where they'll learn the painful discipline of training like Shaolin monks. Kung Fu and some of the philosophy behind it allows you to realise that conflict isn't really the way forward and you just step back and allow your emotion and your anger to be channeled in different ways. Can Matthew's Kung Fu teaching turn these young lives around? Yes. Or will the strict Shaolin regime send them over the edge? Hey, hey. Matthew Ahmed is a unique UK-born Shaolin warrior. For the last two years, he's been transforming the lives of British youngsters with the discipline of Kung Fu. But now he's taken on his biggest challenge yet. He's come to Southwark in South London in a bid to bring Shaolin order to some of the tough youngsters who live around the area. It's looking a little bit, a little bit rough. Must have a lot of youth probably forming their own little gangs and things like that. It's a tough area to grow up in. It's known for a lot of gun crime. It's, it's known for a lot of violence. Everyone wants to be a gangster around here, if you know what I'm saying? So everyone's shot and everyone's doing this and that and rare, rare, rare. Police as well, if it's not an emergency, you know, so someone's bleeding or stabbed to death or something, they, they don't come here. Matthew has gathered six youngsters who he thinks could really benefit from learning the strict Shaolin discipline. They think they're tough enough to be Kung Fu disciples. But only three will get to go to Hong Kong where they live and train like Shaolin monks in a bid to turn their lives around. I'm sure some of the kids have had some trouble, got a lot of aggression to try and deal with. And hopefully, you know, Kung Fu is a way that they can channel their anger, channel their energy for the better for themselves. Between them, these South Londoners have been in trouble for either fighting, drug dealing or knife crime. This could be their last chance to stay on the right side of the law. I'm not intimidated. I'm not intimidated. flips and stuff, but I'm not really phased by what I'm seeing. There's a bit of attitude coming from some of the guys. I expected it from an area like this. Whilst in Hong Kong, there's definitely going to be no room for ego or attitude. They need to be focused 100%. If they are picked to go to Hong Kong, they face hardcore daily training, which will build towards a punishing final challenge. So if you just crowd round, I'm going to do it right here. You can stand around here. I'm just going to demonstrate what you can do if you condition your hands. Part of that challenge will be to attempt to break a brick with their bare hands. This is what Shaolin monks call a feat of Qigong. So Qigong is all about focusing your energy, and that's all achieved through the understanding of breathing and how to overcome pain. 
As the South London youngsters look on, Matthew harnesses his energy to smash the pain barrier as he attempts to break a house brick. Uh, Try this without proper training and you could break your fingers or your wrist. That brick breaking thing proper impressed me. Like it was sick. That showed a lot of skill. Hopefully, one day I might be able to do it. The impressive feat of Qigong seems to have got their attention. So Matthew cracks on with the group's evaluation. He'll be choosing three to take to Hong Kong and will be testing their physical ability, mental attitude and commitment to the tasks. Matthew starts the assessment with body conditioning. Jaya! Conditioning is a very important part of Kung Fu. Before you can attempt the Qigong feat, you have to make sure your body is hard, hard as rock, to cope with some of the pain you might put it through. Matthew starts the group off by conditioning their abs. You're going to do it two at a time, and it's a bit of a competition, OK? Whoever loses does 10 push-ups. First up, Chris versus Joe. Come on, come on, come on. This type of intense training means I can really watch over these guys and make sure they're pushing themselves to the limit. Short-fused Chris has had run-ins with the police. Ex-wrestler Joe hopes the Shaolin discipline will keep him away from the South London gang culture. It hurts. It hurts. But I'm not giving up. I might be aching, but I'm going to do the next one. I'm going to try it. I'm trying it. Next up is Corey versus Tara, the only girl. Come on. Come on, go, go, Tara go. may be a girl, but I'm not going to treat her any different. She's going to have to really prove herself against the five boys if she wants to come out to Hong Kong. Keep going, keep it going. Oh, two, two, one at a time. Good, keep it tidy. Good. Jaya! Jaya, Jaya! Oh, Tara's hot temper meant she had to attend anger management classes. Yeah, I'm good with the cold muscles. She have had two babies, so that's nothing. <laughs> the belly is fine, the belly is strong. I could do loads of sit ups. Good, up. Nice. Well Finally, Good. Ilias versus Nash. Bad boy Ilias has been arrested on drugs charges, but never convicted. That's what I call brutal exercise. Ex-convict Nash was out on the lash last night and is struggling with a hangover. Kind of underestimated the task. Let's see what happens, innit? I've got a feeling I'm going to drop out soon, though. Cigarettes and alcohol is definitely not part of the Shaolin way of life. Whoever comes out to Hong Kong is going to have to show their dedication by not smoking or drinking. Matthew finishes his evaluation of the group by getting them to crouch toe-to-toe -to -toe and trade kung fu forearm blocks to test their pain threshold. It's a way to strengthen all parts of the body and get you ready for some real combat. And it's going to be a lot tougher than what they think it is. Chris works out every day and is the strongest of the group. But Matthew's not sure he's given it 100%. Come on, come on, come on, back in, back in. I came in thinking it's gonna be a breeze, but I was slightly a bit like arrogant about the whole thing. But I'm doing it now, I can I can tell it takes a lot of motivation and determination, definitely. That was about a minute. Yeah, you try doing 30 minutes, you do that for a year, your arm becomes like rock. <laughs> a lot of power. As a final display of mental focus, Matthew and his team show the South London youngsters one last feat of Qigong. All of this here is just a small piece of what can actually happen in Hong Kong. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. After today, I want it, I want it more. I don't even think I'm going to sleep tonight. I really, really, really want this now. Yeah, it's just a big door and hopefully I get the key to open it. No way. No way. I'm very intrigued at what I see. I'm like proper eager to go now. No way. Jaya! Jaya! They all want it, but who will Matthew choose for the Shaolin experience? A few days later, and Matthew has now picked his three new students to take to Hong Kong for a taste of the life-changing experience he himself had as a teenager. It's been a tough decision, but I've picked the three that I think will rise to the challenge and that will really benefit their lives in a positive way.
First on the list is Chris, who's had run-ins with the police. He hopes Kung Fu will help change his bad attitude. Hello? Hi, Chris. How's it going? It's Matthew. Hi, man. I'm all right. I've sat here for, for long and kind of looked through, through everyone else's things and your things. and This time around, like, uh, I'm going to take you out to Hong Kong. Really? <laughs> <laughs> you being serious, really bro? You. Yeah, we're going to take you out there, Chris. <laughs> Next up is Joe, who hopes the Kung Fu discipline will stop him being sucked into the South London gang culture. So, Joe, out of everyone, you know, I think that you really deserve that place on the plane to go out to Hong Kong. Congratulations. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, come on. Finally, Tara, who had to attend anger management classes. She hopes Kung Fu will channel her aggression in a positive way. I think that if, if you do come out to Hong Kong, obviously you'd have to work extremely hard to keep up with everyone else. It's gonna be really, really intense. I know you said about shaving your head. How do you feel about that at the moment? I must wear makeup. Like full time, I will shave my hair. I think you're gonna, you're gonna be a big pain with all your makeup and stuff like that. But you're coming out to Hong, Hong Kong. Con congratulations. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Honestly, you will not regret it. But Fantastic. you're gonna have a bit of a challenge with the makeup. <laughs> Next, the new Shaolin students realize that Hong Kong is gonna be the toughest test of their lives. If you move, you get a kick. You me off now, I'm not even joking. 